See, Bangladesh uh, is only fifty years old and it went through an upheaval, unam unimaginable levels of violence at that time. And then a new country was formed out of that. But uh, these uh, unfortunate events are not just happening now, has been happening off and on. There are various forces behind these kind of things. So one important thing that we need to understand is, it is happening. There's no denial that it's happening, it is definitely happening. But this is not, not all across Bangladesh. So don't say it is happening in Bangladesh. Learn the name of the place. See, suppose something like it is happening, similar things are happening in Kashmir. So now, if you're outside the country and you say, everywhere in India, people are being killed like this, if you say, that's not going to be fair to us, isn't it? Similarly, it's not fair to Bangladesh to say, it is happening all over Bangladesh or it's happening in Bangladesh. It is happening, it has definitely happened in a few places. Homes have been raised to ground, burned down, businesses have been burned down, temples vandalized. A few people have lost their life, unfortunately. But this is not the entire Bangladeshi population, this is a certain number. And now it… Uh, un unfortunately, probably that is not a country which is in terms of police force is as organized as other nations. It took three days or four days for them to respond in any real way. And uh, I believe from what I hear from the news channels and everywhere, it's been put down now. It, can it flare up again somewhere? It can. Such things are happening everywhere, unfortunately, in different proportions, between different parties, it's happening. And above all, Bangladesh is a, a very friendly nation with India. So as a nation, we can't be blackballing their entire country. We need to condemn the particular incident. You cannot say Bangladesh is doing this, no. Bangladesh is a certain number of people. Hardly probably two hundred, five hundred people might have participated in this kind of violence. It's very important that they're pinpointed, not paint everybody in that direction because you will grow animosity between nations by doing such things, which is not at all in anybody's interest, particularly not in India's interest for sure. So having said that, how do you stop this? Well, you can send the police, if it doesn't control, you can send the army, you can shoot a few people, you can bring it under control. But this is not going to go like that. It can be stopped like that for that moment. But if you want this to go, there's only one story. Human beings are doing this to each other because we are identified with different things and we have forgotten that we are human beings. We have become this religion, that religion, this country, that country, this race, that race, all kinds of things. There is no end to this. You need to understand, any problem of this magnitude cannot be solved overnight. If we start working for it, maybe a generation, two generations, three generations, we… we can bring it to that place. So one important service I'm doing in this direction is, I'm knocking the heaven down. No place to go. If you want to live well, all of us, let's live well here. That's all there is.